you're the face of TikTok Vine like generation. <laughs> this the face the face only. Of the- <laughs> I can't do anything past fifteen seconds. You're telling me a story. Shut the fuck up after fifteen seconds. <laughs> I was I was always so jealous of like a, like a kid named JD. I know. Growing up, just be a DJ already. J- J- AJ, AJ, DK. Like, who would have ever right. thought DK would be a cool like initial name? Right. Like, you can literally ZY. Like, what's next? Well, they gotta they gotta have the. I don't even think it gotta, matters. They, bro. they gotta flow. You know, DK doesn't flow. DK. Yeah, yeah, it does. DZ. Nice. I'm down with that. I'm really down, down with, with that. that. Yeah. What would that stand for? Something Zachary. David David Drew. Zachary. David. <laughs> but usually people with initials have the worst names ever. I was gonna say. You know. That that doesn't seem right because DZ is so much cooler than Drew Zachary. I guess that's a point. I guess that's why you call him DZ. DZ. Oh, that's nice, dude. Yeah. What I would do to just have it initials for my name. I don't know why. Yeah. JT, not bad. JT is like. Yeah. That's like the LeBron of initial names. JT. I think JD might be. It's the shoe place now. Ah. Uh, but growing up, there was always just like this, like a like a badass baseball player. JD, from like, y'all. Yeah. Like I, it was like a badass baseball player from, you know, Cincinnati or like. South Carolina that we everybody would know about. I felt like, like <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like I felt the, like at the turn. Yeah. At the tournament, it'd be like, you know, this kid's name would be like JD half, half and staff or some shit, but it's like JD's tight. Yeah, he's just, he's just JD. Right. You don't even know his last name. And yeah, it was, but it was like the cool, you know, had all the cool shit, like the armbands probably had a little bit of locks coming out of the, baseball you know, it's like swag. looked like a baseball player. You're like, yeah, it's JD. Big fat ass <laughs> fight necklace on 19 armbands. Yeah. Just go to fucking Syracuse or, you know, South Carolina already. Yeah. South Carolina probably more than Syracuse. Yeah. I don't know. In baseball. It's okay. It's all yeah. right. Yeah. We, we live and so, we learn. Uh, oh, so what? Uh, TG24. TG24. You heard that uh, that tune in a while? What is it? So what? Uh, oh, so what? Uh, so uh, that's uh, nice. Uh, I can't Sierra. really think of it. Oh. Sierra and uh, I forget who the group is, but I've been... Yeah, dude, you know when you get a song that you haven't heard in like 12 years probably, and then you hear it again for the first time, and that's all you want to do. It's like it completely consumes your mind, mm-hmm. and that's all you can listen to. Got to listen to it 24 times in Literally. a row. Literally. I do that with everything, dude. Song's over, immediately hit the arrow back. We're redoing it. Bro, I I hit the back arrow at like 14 seconds. I know. This motherfucker used to... Is that just a me thing? <laughs> when he was... This is so fucked. Back, <laughs> back in the, the, the Polizzi party days, you know, when, when you'd be able to get him out for, for a open house or for a night out, this dude would take control of the ox, of course, get and me. would play the same song... And just like he said, it would not be like halfway through Mm -hmm. or like at the end. You know what I mean? It would be that little tiny intro and you're like, oh, and then he would start it over and we'd redo the whole thing. Sometimes I just can't get past that. (laughs) All I need is like a a playlist of songs that just go to 14 seconds. (laughs) Just 102 songs that go to 14 seconds. Dude, I would rip through that. You are the most TikTok. (laughs) You're the face of TikTok Vine like generation. This the face the face only. Of I can't do anything past fifteen seconds. You're telling me a story. Shut the fuck up after fifteen seconds. <laughs> you just said you want a playlist of fourteen. Actually, second this podcast song. is going way too long. <laughs> Three minutes in. Oh god, dude! I never forget. It was Bugatti. It was a uh, oh, oh I'll I'll no Bugatti. Because at the beginning, it had some tight, you know. And uh, intro, and then you just restart that shit up. Beginning of Bugatti's. Get, get, chef's kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, you giving up anything for Lint? I was thinking about this today because I knew you were going to ask me. And I thought about it for three seconds and then forgot totally. 
<laughs> you were changing the song back. I it was something like that. Um, I don't know, man. I I don't know, dude. I haven't thought about it. I usually decide what I'm going to give up for Lent like two days before Easter. That's great. So then you have two days of, hey, I did my shit. I'm like, hey, dude. Did it do it for two days? Killed it this year. I'm great. What about Guess you? what I'm giving up. Um, are, Is it like a challenge or is it something like kind of low key? No, nah, it's a challenge for me. Drinking. Wine. Dude, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. When I when when I was like, Joey's gonna ask me what I'm gonna give up. Maybe I'll give up wine. But then I was like, that's never gonna happen. And then I just moved on to the next thing I was doing. Yep. I was in Ash Wednesday Mass, and I was thinking about. I was like, damn, yeah, okay, and that's next. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And then it hit me. I was like, wine it is, red and white. Oh yeah. Now in classic Catholic fashion, I'm still drinking. Oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> But are you doing the thing where you can do it on Sundays? No, that's some fucking Cheat code. lame shit. Cheat code. That's Get such a okay. <clears throat> bring that, it in. That's such a no. I don't. I don't do that. I don't do that. My family was pro Sundays. We is the free space. I think. <laughs> I think that probably will lend the case when like Frankie is eight. Because you know the kids, they want to give up something, right? Because it's like I give up. I give up candy and playing video games. And then four days into it, they're losing their fucking mind. So then it's like, all right, Sunday, you can. Sunday, just do it. All right. And you reset the clock. Sundays were great growing up. I'd give up donuts. Sundays? (laughs) 42 donuts later, dude. The day of donuts. Yeah. Oh, Sunday's a donut day. That's the only day. You can't eat a fucking donut on a Tuesday. You're crazy. You got to be really depressed. I don't even, (laughs) or like so rich, you don't even know what day it is. You know? (laughs) Oh, it's Tuesday? Uh, Give me another yeast. Give me another jelly filled. Yeah. We talk about donuts every podcast, and we're going (laughs) to keep fucking doing it. We're going to keep doing it. Friday, Saturday, Sunday are the only donut days. You can get wild with a Thursday, maybe. No. Weekday donuts are bad news. Can't um, get on a Thursday, you can't get a little... Maybe if it's like 10 p.m. So you can just sleep with that donut. <laughs> and then you wake up and it's all gone, babe. <laughs> Dude, I used to do that overnight shift at the radio station. Yep. I'd get up at 6 a.m., go to Jack's Donuts, get oh, yeah. six donuts, eat them all on the way home, uh-huh. live one minute away, <laughs> and then sleep for six hours. I'd wake up and be like... Ah, I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> those, Best morning of my life. Those aren't those aren't like no joke of a donut. I mean, those things are some oh, yeah. hogs. Oh, you say hogs? Hogs, <laughs> hogs of donuts, man. Oh yeah. You know who else? Yeah, I mean, they're hogs of donuts, and hogs would want to eat them. You know, like the linemen tied in. <laughs> Every lineman ever eating anything? <laughs> Towel around his shoulder. <laughs> I'm like, what is that for? Did he just take my bathroom towel because he sweats when he eats turkey. You can't do, dude. You're not even a Thursday, at eight fifteen a.m. You're getting ready for the weekend. You're trying to get the juices going a little bit. The mm-hmm. weekend juice no is flowing. No and I'm bringing a little donut flavor. You're not having half one. I'm not even gonna play along with you. On not even one. any donut holes or anything. Ooh, see, that's different. Come on. No, what do we? <laughs> You get a box. You, bo- <laughs> you get a box of donuts, and then for people like you, it's like you bring in the box of donuts, and so I was like, "Oh no, I can't." And then you go, "You do one of these," and it's the back of donut holes. I'll go up and kiss you if you did that to me, <laughs> like low key behind your back, because uh-huh. you knew I was going to be uh-huh. there. Huh? Yeah. Hey, he'll break. He'll break. I'm not to break him. Like I'm a little fucking golden Sh- retriever. Shake a little bit. <laughs> What's the treats? What's the treats? Man, those donuts are good, but like powdered donuts. They can get a little exhausting. Cinnamon donuts, a little bit too. But there's like one of those donut holes in between those two. I don't even know what it is, but it's like very... uh, Like a cake donut hole? It's cake. It's just straight cake. And you're like, dude, I can pound these. Oh, yeah. Cake donut holes are way better than cake donuts. Mm. I said it. I said it. Uh, I... I'm such a cake donut guy. Someone has to disagree with you there. I know. But I will... I to see if I can get you. I will agree that... Like the regular yeast donut hole is better than a, a regular donut. Those are insane. Uh, and they're all like, they're not really like spheres. No. They're just like Clumps. fucked up. <laughs> oh, you give me any type of food that's just fucked up. Give me that. Garlic. I didn't used to be like that. Garlic knots. 
destroy it and give it to me. Sometimes some places <laughs> go as crazy as to call them garlic knuckles. <laughs> Punch me in the goddamn face. Dude, who would rather eat a... Oh, it kind of remind, it reminded him of like a <laughs> vagina maybe. That's kind of weird. What? I don't know. I think I'd rather eat a garlic knuckle than a garlic knot. I don't know. Something about eating a knot sounds good. Like the worse you call food, the better it is, you know? Like I went to some weird ice cream place and they're like, hey, you want a Kit Kat? Uh, they call it like cement mixer. Oh, yeah. And I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. Kidding me? No doubt. What else you got? You got some like, <laughs> what do they call it? Like mud tracks. Okay, so we got vanilla. We got the hot fudge sundae. We got the cement mixer. We got the mud tracks. Moose tracks. Moose <laughs> Just moose roll tracks. me down a hill in that shit. We got bear shit. And then we got... <laughs> Ooh, tell me more about the bear shit. Then our specialty for this month only is... We just call it mulch. <laughs> You're like... <laughs> I would eat that. I, I, you couldn't give me. I bet. Let's go. You said it right now. Let's go. Mulch with extra hot fudge. Like, what do you think it'd be? Just like a bunch of just crushed up Kit Kats. Crushed up. Just, chocolate, <laughs> yeah. Crushed up Kit Kats. Um, <laughs> may, probably some crushed up, like, you know, the little tiny <laughs> uh, chocolate, like, uh, well, they're not chocolate kisses. Kind of they are. Oh, the Hershey little, kisses? Yeah, the little tiny, tiny Oh, uh, not kisses. even like regulation size? No, not regulation size. The ones that you put on top of Oh, chocolate sundae. chips, right? Jesus Christ. Chocolate chips. Oh, my God. I'm just going to... Hey, they would put the chocolate chips down. They'd take like one of those fucking... Uh, you know, they would take... Honestly, you could take like the end of a... Or you could take a spoon. You could crush it down that way. Mm -hmm. Or you could just take uh, like... Uh, uh, You're crushing down you chocolate take chips the, right now? You could take the ice cream scooper... Take the bottom of it. Pop, 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 pop. That shit's just ground up. On some real shit, like the end of the ice cream scooper. So you're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. some some crazy, some crazy 10 p.m. nobody's home shit. Yeah, I've done it. I mean, what? I've never done that. <clears throat> <laughs> that's that's what mulch would be. Mulch. Oh, just every <laughs> every ice cream thing you you can have. I just want it named after a landscaping. <laughs> like just. <laughs> Mulch shrubs manure. Oh manure, <laughs> dude! Throw it at my face. If it, if it, that, how good would that be? Manure. Oh, you know it's just gonna be loaded. It's like not fudge. that frozen either. No, a little, a little <laughs> liquidy. No, not like not not liquid, but you know it's, it's getting there. Uh, it's pretty soft serve there, bro. Soft serve. Soft as serve manure, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's too good yeah so wine <clears throat> wine it is i don't know yeah it's the whole lint thing obviously growing up and everything everybody had just the dumbest most useless shit um i'm giving up candy i'm giving up thing um the f word i'm giving up video games like it's all the same shit i'm giving up french fries <sighs> those are all tough <laughs> they are <clears throat> i know i and i but it's just the same, you know, it's the same shit. Mm -hmm. And then well, you I start knew. you start getting into the you start getting into the like, well, instead of giving something up, I'm gonna do something. I'm like, ah, here we go. That was me. <laughs> giving up chocolate, but I can still eat like sour candy. And I'm doing twenty five push ups a day. Me and me when I was twelve. You still no. <laughs> I am doing that. <laughs> just did, I just cranked just out twenty five fifty. You got any starburst 25. on you? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm still having a mixed drink. I'm still having a beer, but like wine is my drink. You yeah, know? Like oh, that's yeah. it's our drink. Yeah, it, I mean, that's what I go to. Got any wine everywhere? Yeah, I'll have some wine. It's Can't just all. That. It's perfect. Wine's Can't perfect. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Cause you're gonna want it. <sighs> Thanks. Did one year I gave up TV and yo. What? Now that that is admirable. I was just I was. Trying to knock it out of the park, man. Whoa. How so, old were you? Dude. Fourth grade. I think I think I was like, I'm gonna give up TV. And I think my family like went silent. They were like, oh shit, he might. Were they were you like trying to make up for something? Were you trying to get on the good side of your your 
dad or something like uh, that? Maybe, but like it was really more, going all out for Lint. Wow, he's serious. More like We're, a personal thing. I was oh. like, I wonder if I can do it. Bro, it was wild. Because we'd go on like a family vacation and my my family would be in a room like watching something and I'd be like, I, I, dude, I would face the wall and just listen to it. <laughs> I swear, dude. Okay, so it could be on. You just literally, you, you can't have eyes on it. Yeah. I was just like, I'm not I thought you were saying like it can't, like the, the TV did not come on for you when you were in the room, wherever you were for the 40 days or whatever it is. It was tough. Yeah, I had to make some adjustments. Like I'd walk into a restaurant and I'd be eating like this. Mm, yeah, the, the back to it. But that's probably, that's probably a good rule of thumb. Restaurants every day. It doesn't matter what restaurant I'm at. If there's a TV on... <clears throat> I just absolutely, for whatever reason, just gravitate towards it. It's always NFL Network or something. And I tell you, if it's if it's a replay that somehow happens to be any Steelers game at all, I mean, I <laughs> consider me just tapped out. <laughs> I'm not. I'm gonna contribute nothing to the conversation <laughs> at the meal. And it's not even that I'm just like, Shh, I don't know, like I'm watching. I just can't help. I'm just I'm locked locked in because they're so good at what they do on those shows. Like I'm just like I'm in a bar. It's loud as hell in the bar. I'm just watching a football life. Jerome Bettis on mute for thirty <laughs> minutes while people are talking at my table. Just what do you think, dog? I'm like <laughs> hey, just watching him on the Rams. Subtitles. Yeah, he was on the Rams. <laughs> Subtitles to where you, like you the the scene on the the TV is three scenes later than what the subtitles are. Mm -hmm. but you're like, okay, I remember it. Yeah, the, he was okay. So that part, yeah, he was at the Rams. They're talking about Los Angeles. Now he's back at that. You're trying to add up what the subtitles yeah. are from where the scenes are. Hey, subtitles, like get on the same page with the TV. <laughs> Who's the subtitle guy? What if it was? What if the subtitle guy was live? It seems like it. <laughs> It's weird. Hey, you know who the subtitle guy is? <laughs> Cola. <laughs> Dude, just so late. Backspace, 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 backspace. How about when the <laughs> subtitle guy just gives up? You ever seen that? You're watching like a rap music video and it's a real fast rapper and the guy's like, damn, fuck it, Jesus Done. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Twista. <Can't> keep up. <laughs> he just gives up. Oh, this guy's saying? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Who's that guy that... Was that Buster Rhymes? Yeah. Holy hell. Yeah, that. That's a really funny video idea. Subtitle guy when the Buster Rhymes verse comes on. <laughs> Jesus Christ, are you serious? <laughs> just type in numbers. I told you I wasn't doing it anymore, Terry. Symbols. He just puts, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nicola. Look it up. Nicola's subtitle. That's hilarious. Yeah, right. Dude, guess who I interviewed today? Who? What? Oh, who? <laughs> what, what sport? Football. Uh, Ballard. No, but close. So we're talking Colts, huh? The new head. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. All right. Jim Bob Cooter. <laughs> nah. Chuck Pagano. Is he still talking? You know, you is know. he still talking? And you came here to do this podcast. You're going to finish <laughs> up with him. He's still answering a question. You're like, I got to knock out a podcast. I'll be right back. <laughs> he was great, man. He was. Uh, I'm doing this show for Thirty uh, Third Team. I'm playing off of that uh, for those about to mock sketch that I did a couple years ago, like my strange addiction mock drafts. And so I actually made it into a show for those about to mock. And it's uh, it's like an eight-part series leading up to this year's draft. And the first guest was Chuck Pagano. And he was super cool. For those about to mock. Yeah. Thanks new you. So it should be out by the time this comes out. So a little uh, organic plug, uh, cross-promotion. OG plug, OG plug. Well, cross-promotion. Learned that in the radio biz. Um, but he was cool, man. He never – get this. He had never been to Iotsos. What is happening? Chuck Pagano. Didn't you build it? The, the first thing he asked me when we get on, you know, before we start recording, he's like, hey, Joe, uh, you know, lo love what you do, follow. I'm like, yeah, thanks, coach. He's like, hey, Molinaro, that's uh, your paisan, right? And I was like, yeah. Like, uh, first thing he asked. And then he's never been to Iotsos? I was like, what, bro, what? What were you doing here? Yeah, he's like, oh, well, you know, I was like, I guess you were working. He was like, right, yeah. And I was like, but you met it in other places? Fucking Iotso is the backyard of the stadium. 
Where, what did, I now we got to have him on here. So now we talked about, and I just invited you and your dad. But now we're gonna do you, your dad, me, and Coach Pagano at Iotsos. That would be so. <laughs> I wouldn't say a goddamn word. Dude. <laughs> I would just do this the whole time. I would nervous talk the shit out of the entire thing because I'd oh. be like. You're, I'd be like, well, Ben's on a weird. I don't know what he's doing. His dad's definitely on a weird thing. I don't know what his dad's doing. You know, oh, I wouldn't say anything. Just you two go. Just talk about like nickel defense against the <laughs> Titans or something. <laughs> I don't know. Talk about <laughs> talk about stacking the box or something. Just. It was just so funny, man, because we've talked about it on this show. But I was telling him, I was like, yeah, yeah, coach. Like, I was a radio grunt for a while. Like, listen to every one of your fucking press conferences. Yep. <laughs> know your cadence. <laughs> yep. But he's a good dude, man. Really, really good dude. So check that out. So, uh, what do you always so, say? Uh, you know, just got to keep chopping. We got to. It was, you know. you know. You know. You know. Oh, yeah, you know. He's got a lot of phlegm in his throat. Yeah, no. You're going on tour, man. A little mini tour? A little Just mini Johnson Just tour? See how it goes. Yeah. Hey, Ontario, so 316. Uh, then we got the next weekend, we got Kansas City, 327. And, uh, I wish you could have worked that to be in April for the because the NFL drafts in Kansas City. Oh. The day wow. you're in Tampa. The day you're in Tampa, April 27th. That's when the NFL draft is. And so I was like, for a second, I was like, wait, he's going to Kansas City. Maybe. And then I saw, but it's all good. Damn. I didn't know that. Oh, well. So it's. Hey, next year. <laughs> so it's Cal. Are you going to be at the draft? I might. I might. Yeah. yeah, it's Cali. Then it's Casey. Then it's Albany. And then it's Tampa. Still Albany, adding some. Albany, New York. Mm-hmm. Got a club out there. Funny bone. Is it? Is Albany? There's something based in Albany, like a museum or some shit. There's something. I know Cooperstown's the. Oh, the boxing. Cooperstown is the major league baseball, but I thought Albany was kind of like sister towns with that. No, well, I don't fucking know. I don't know either. There is something going on there, though. <laughs> Kansas City, though, should be should be fun, man. Are you gonna get uh, Mahomes or Kelsey out there? What's Mahomes' little brother name? Jackson. He's coming. <laughs> you guys going to shake your ass? He's going to be the sign language interpreter when I'm up there doing stand-up. Nice. Perfect. Hell yeah. There we go. He's not watching. I'm like, you know what? Just fucking do, do your thing here. I'm going to go in the back. He just dances for 45 minutes. Be I, I bet word. you could probably get... Uh, if Kelsey's in town, I bet you could probably get him to go. I'll DM him. You know, I'm driving Chris Pearson though. You know Chris Pearson? Yeah. He's like really good friends with him. Yeah. He might, be okay. worth a, might be worth a hit up. I yeah. doubt I I'm like I, he probably doesn't stay in Kansas City in the offseason though. <laughs> no. Killer Trav is fucking probably just down in Cabo the entire time. Think he's in Cabo or you think he's just in some like just Midwest town? That's true. He's just in Peoria, Illinois. <laughs> just like changing oil. Just feel like he works construction in the off season. Yeah, his brother definitely does. Travis Kelsey just holding that slow sign <laughs> on some random street. Hard hat. What's up? <laughs> yeah, I just won like fourteen Super Bowls yesterday. What's up? It's just the fucking yeah, the Midwest in him. He's like, <laughs> ah, I got to get back to do that. He yeah, he works a landscaping job during this off season. Just because it's like <laughs> that's what we all did. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> 21 touchdowns last year, but 2,884 speedy rewards points this yeah. year. <laughs> hey, you know what? He's 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 mulching front yards, and then he's going to get mulch ice cream at fucking Let's Ritter's. Go, dude. <laughs> Bet you catch a lot of passes with that green thumb. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Dumbest. He's been to the 500 a couple times, I think. He he looks like Indy 500. He, he, Born and bred. He not only Indy 500, but Snake Pit specifically. Man, you, if I saw Travis Kelsey at the Indy 500, I would lose my shit. Yeah, I would too. He's a cool guy. I think he's like what so every, normal. I think he's like what every white guy, like white kid, would want to like football player. Hundred percent, dude. Who knew? Like so good, 
looks cool on the field. Yeah, and he's like, I don't. You can't really tell if he's trying or not. <laughs> You know, I'm like, is he giving it his all? You ever think that but about somebody? He's just, he's just housing people. Yeah. Just run, just out running. Like, looks, looks cool off the field. Just always has a big coat on. Big coat, like a, ch- a chain. Hey, turtleneck. <laughs> Who's not fucking this guy? Come on. You were a turtleneck. Somebody's having sex with you. It's just the, <laughs> the law of the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he'd be a cool hang. I do. And he's uh he's yeah, always got a fresh haircut. Yeah. God dang, it's, man. It's amazing. Is he doing that daily, you think? I think it's a, he he might be on the every every 3, the Jalen Rose schedule. Every 3 days. I mean, not as much as Jalen Rose yeah. cuz Jalen Rose is on TV every 18 seconds, but <laughs> And he seems like he has a different haircut every time I see him on TV. It's got to be fake. <laughs> Don't you think like, does he have like, is it almost like, like Jalen Rose? It's like a Lego head, you know, like the, you, you, <laughs> you, you, what pop, am I wearing today? <laughs> you, with Legos, you can pop the different hairstyles off and then just pop a new one on. Oh yeah. What are you thinking today, hon? Am I going with the side part? Yeah. That's a uh, three, every three days for a haircut. Damn. That's when you know, you're like, dude, you got it. You got it like that when you're getting one every three days. It does feel fucking good to get a fresh haircut. It's amazing. It's makeup for guys. What's going on with this? I know we've, we're I've, getting it there. seems like it's like, it, I mean, I, we see each other at least once a week every week, but like it, they, we're making some serious progress here. We're getting there. Um, is this for a, a role? Is this what's going on? Is this a. No, I'm just like, okay, it's not all the way there yet. It's like a year has to go by for it to be like, oh, that looks great. But we're on like month like five or something like that. So we're halfway. It doesn't look bad, but it's like not, you know, it's it's shorter where they transplanted hair and it's longer mm. where it's just I haven't cut it yet. So I'm just kind of like chill, like chilling with it until it's. We need to bring full Kramer back. <sighs> Peak Kramer. I think so. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. I'm in. Yeah. What, uh, what would be what you used to karaoke? You ever what karaoke? was my karaoke song? Mm. Yeah, like Wild Beaver on a Thursday. I was always with a, like a very, very hype crew. So I couldn't really get too diverse. You didn't want to, yeah. You, I you mean, s- you still were at the point where you were like, you know, you got you to gotta keep up an image. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little bit. And it was like, you know, now what would I do? Like today, what would I do? Sure. Probably like. Kesha or something, you know, just something I know I can just nail. That would be a that would be heat. Yeah, like one of those songs, you know, that you're just like you're kind of ashamed to admit that you restarted it 14 times on the way here. <laughs> but only like for the, only first 14 seconds though. Yeah, karaoke would be great for you because you just do the first 15, you drop the mic, you're out. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> That's all I got. Thank you guys. <laughs> Everybody's like, ah, oh, shit. I uh, like it. Usually everybody's trying to do a five and a half minute song. Yeah, that's like a little guy. much. Who's the guy that's doing karaoke that's doing like an Aerosmith song? Bro. 17 minutes I long. I can stay awake. Like, oh, Jesus. Here we go. Be able to be up there for six minutes and like now everybody just feels like the world's going to end because of Armageddon. <laughs> I know. And they, they always get the biggest applause after. I'm like, you didn't <laughs> even do anything. I'm jealous and shit. I'm like, he didn't even drunk as hell. Always trying to get that fucking audience. Always, yeah. Come on, he didn't even. Come on, he was kind of lagging in between. You guys didn't see that. (laughs) Yo, mine be what would be. What? I love you, Burpee Boy. Whoa, that that was a bird. How about can we just write a whole Burpee Boy song (laughs) karaoke? That (laughs) I love. It's on the screen. Burpee Boy. Whoa. (laughs) What would yours be? I would be. Give me one reason to stay here. Mm. And I'll turn my back around. That just brought so many memories in my head. And I'd do this shit. I'd fucking. Damn. I would, I would like. I would. You know when uh, singers. <laughs> It's always it's always at some fucking <laughs> bar or restaurant, and it's just like you know local band, and it's like the lead singer lady, and she always has a one foot tapping, uh, and she yeah. has like she like uses the man. That's nice. Give me one reason to stay here, and I'll turn my back. Maybe she around. hits a couple of these. 
That hit, that that side hip slap is so on beat. I'm like, geez, Trish, you haven't been that on beat since. <laughs> yes, definitely, Trish. Trish Absolutely. is slapping the hips during that one. Yeah, that's dude. a good song, dude. That reminded me of a summer of, of a rotating fan in a summer. <laughs> you know, in like 1997. Yeah. Oh God! In some weird <laughs> baseball games, the Cubs are playing on WGN. You're like, God, what's for dinner? Your mom's like, it's one p.m. <laughs> Your mom? <laughs> Was every mom cleaning to that song? Because that, that's the song they love, bro. That song's their whole life. They they got their head pulled. Give me back. one they got, stay. <laughs> they got their hair pulled back in a bandana, right? A sleep like a like a you know one of your dad's like workout. Ho- or not hoodies cr- crew necks cut on up. cut up and shit bandana on or they're making their bed to that song yeah like fucking fluffing the <laughs> fluffing the, the leaves on the tree give me one reason to stay here and turn around. <laughs> you're like watching her she doesn't know she's you're watching her she's kind of walking shaking her ass yeah. a little bit you're like mom like <laughs> i can see you <laughs> mom mom cleaning playlist songs that's all that's all Give me another one. that's all the karaoke music we're doing <laughs> mom cleaning playlist <laughs> dude you got uh that whatever that fucking song is called give me one, one reason to stay here uh carlos santana obviously so smooth <laughs> It's party time when a mom hears that. Uh, Just like the ocean on oh, the moon is the same thing that I get from you. Every mom just automatically a glass of wine appears in their head. Be so Best song ever. It Top is, 10. It is interesting. And the joke has been made in the movie Ted, but it's so true. Like the entire mid to latter half of the 90s had a whole subgenre of music where the lead singer just. Oh, man. Like sounded like that. There's a lot of just grunt and shit that they're doing, and it just sounds great. <laughs> but it's so, like, whenever you Relatable. hear those songs, that it's like it fucking, I mean, just to your core, the, mem- the, the nostalgia and the memories that waft over you mm. when you hear that song, when you hear, Any, uh, I wish we could play all these songs. Dude, Any, I fucking, I can nail that. I want to yeah, go to, good. I want to go to Wild Beaver and do that song. Tonight. Actually, let's just go right now. <laughs> Just do us the podcast there. We, Live podcast at Wild Beaver. <laughs> they're like, oh, wow. I wonder what they're going to talk about. We're just singing Alanis Morissette or something. <laughs> Amy Grant. Oh, shit. Yeah. Every Alanis Morissette song, song. I'm like, they. my mom is the ghostwriter for her. Dude, I, I know. I'm like, I know Alanis Morissette. Give me one song. I, 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 hold on. I do too, but it's just got to be the right song. Oh, I, I dude, know. I think you're getting ticketed out front right now, dog. Oh, for real? That makes $2,884 I own. Oh, no, we're good. Never mind. Yeah, because I paid, G. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we're good. No, that guy was just up. like lingering right out in front. And so oh, is he a ticket man. guy? No, I thought he was because I couldn't see, but he's not. Here. Because I got one hand in my oh. pocket and the other one's smoking oh, a cigarette. cigarette. Any of those songs. Dude, Cheryl Crow. That's another one. Mm. Um, if it makes you happy. Your mom's just like fucking crying kind of in the front. They're like Why driving. Are you so sad? Yeah, it's like back when you're in the back seat as a kid, you don't really know what's going on. But then like when you get old enough to sit with shotgun and you can, you're like, oh, oh this is happening. Um, mom, are you okay? Do I say anything? It's something, you know. You're in the McDonald's drive-thru. What's You're like, are you okay? I'll take two double cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, or I said no I said no pickle. Fucking crying. 
<laughs> dad's been sleeping on the couch for three days. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That's the only thing we think. My dad didn't even. Yeah, he did. <laughs> like, I always feel like my dad was just sleeping when I was growing up. <laughs> like, how tired are you? <laughs> oh, my God. Cheryl Crow, what's that other one? Uh, dude, all I want to do is have some fun. Are you kidding me? That's some mom anthem. Sun goes down on a cinema. Wasn't somebody else in that song too? Like, uh, was there? A sh- what's the Cheryl Crow Kid Rock song, dude? That's the that's like peak, like somebody's peak cookout. Somebody's, music. somebody's making a baby. Like, it's a banger. Let me see, Kid Rock, Cheryl Crow. God, yeah, it's like. Can you guys just get married? Picture. Oh my God! Can you can you like low key play it on your phone for like five seconds? Oh, they like both sing. Oh, stop, stop, stop. We're going to get hit for copyright. Oh, 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 now it's coming back. I'm saying we're going to get hit for copyright, but I'm really just going to about to cry. Three damn days. I put your picture away. Damn, that one is. That's for real. Shania Twain. She's up there too, dog. Man. She she's got some freaking Shania Twain's OG like you're still the one that one that's that's a childhood 90s stop song. it dude I just want to listen to all these songs still right now just the, the first 14 seconds though. still the one that I love the only one I dream of we might be nice with that that might be our song <laughs> our karaoke. <laughs> karaoke bro what if we had a karaoke party oh <gasps> kind of fun <laughs> are, you fucking, are you kidding me <laughs> dude, that's our that's our party next year's karaoke at Wild Beaver. <laughs> hey, wow. I mean, all right. Now we're talking. Let me down. I mean, because anyone can karaoke, you know? And everybody wants, no matter who you are, everybody kind of wants to. I think everybody really wants to. You I, can't, it's no fail. Right. It's fail. Pr- I mean, yeah, uh, the, the bar is down here, man. What's hilarious is when, like, they, you're with somebody who it starts off the night and, like, like, oh, no, I don't really want to, but then they see kind of how it, they get a few drinks in and they see kind of what's going on. They get one song in their head. They're like, That's, I want to do that. I'm doing it. I want to do that. And they go up and they're like on checking in on the guy like every 18 seconds. When am I? Yeah. Coming up. Uh, you're, you're three three after this and then it's you. And what then, a like, Cinderella story that is when the guy that doesn't really want to go out ends up doing karaoke like three hours later. You're mm-hmm. like, oh, yes, we got him. Yep. He's having fun. It's part of the group. It's a good. It's a good feeling. What do you stand on? Like, uh, I mean, I feel like the shaggy bit. That's you know, it's been done. What do you mean? You know, when somebody gets up there and it's it's kind of to what we were talking about with Busta Rhymes. Like, they do the shaggy song, and oh, uh, it wasn't me, you know. And so, like, the the it wasn't me tune starts to come on. Everybody's like, oh, everybody loves that song. So everybody's like, oh, oh, oh you know, and then. They do the 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 chorus and they get into Shaggy's verse and so they they're doing the chorus and everybody can do it and then it's going so fast that they automatically then they start just doing. And like, <laughs> like okay, dude. Oh, yeah. and it's like funny because he doesn't right, know. Right, yeah. It's like, right, that's right. Who knows the words? I would try to do it, man, because the words are right there. Actually, I'd practice it before I went out. I would just have, like he really knows that verse. <laughs> you ever think about that? Like that one. Uh, it's been one week since I looked at Hold, but now I watch a hood wing. That's to a make good a one stop too. Thing. Like, look at that black like man. A summer fish tradition because I never touch a frying pan like, with, like a zombie <laughs> when I bust rhymes. Sorry. So you know it. <laughs> have you ever heard that song? I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, like you're saying. Like I did. I challenged myself to that. I was like. I want to. I want to learn because it's impressive it's when cr- when someone's singing a song like just in some random place. You're at a restaurant, somebody's singing a song, and you're like, "Oh wow, he actually knows this verse." And like that's a, it's a tongue twister. Yeah. And right. so not only like is everybody like, "Oh damn," but then for you, like in my head at least, it like feels good to like. It's not. I'm not even doing it. Like your body completely takes over of just, uh, like instinct, muscle memory. Well, mm. Throw a little MM you, on there. When you get one of those verses on there and you're just losing your mind, it's not even you. You black out and it's muscle oh, memory. Oh, you're, you're a kid rock now or yeah. whoever's on. It's amazing. 
And we're gonna look at that Aquaman. So it's just so bad, 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 bad. big dad Another song. Another 90s song. Yeah. Big dad song. I can't help it if I think you're funny when you're mad. Trying hard to smile, though I feel bad. My dad would bang that song. Really? Oh, yeah. God, your dad is such a... He was all over the place. Your dad's such a Billy Joel bitch. Oh. And I mean, who isn't? But like your dad for sure. I, th- you know? I thought my dad wrote We Didn't Start the Fire. <laughs> You ever listen? To, you ever go back and listen to that song, or just any of these kind of songs, and you're like, "This song is a this song slaps." Oh yeah, we didn't start the fire. It's like, sounds like a fire is pl- happening as the song <laughs> is playing. I'm like, "Is there? Is my fucking stove on?" It sounds like everybody's trying to exit the building in a chaotic way. <laughs> it's the best because a fire is going. Oh, m- might be might be the top dog. I get so emotional with that song. I'm like, yeah, I don't know what he's talking about, but let's go. <laughs> Billy Joel, dude. Can we make a remix to that? Has that been done? Uh, yeah. Damn. Because I said something that rhymed with Hasselback, and I was like, wow, what if we just did an NFL remix? And I dumb that asshole back. Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, <laughs> would go so hard. That end part though, where like the choir, like the co- the choir part, the background singers take and on and on and on and on. Oh, and then Billy song. comes back in. We did it on the fire. So good. Just me, us, me, you, and our dad just crying. Oh yeah, <laughs> burn me alive to that song. <laughs> Just on one of those poles like a pig. <laughs> tie me up, dude. Hog tie me. Put an apple in my mouth and roast me to Billy Joel. No seasoning. I want it raw. <laughs> <laughs> Little rock hacky sack. Travel in Congo. Because they would like. <laughs> <laughs> says that. Dude, he would like mention like a sports thing. And I was oh. Like, ah! Face melter when he melt when he says a sport, bro. Something about like Mickey Mantle. Oh, Mickey Mantle. What a name! All time. Mickey Mantle definitely top, doesn't get talked about. Enough. Top ten name. Double M's. Anytime you got the alliteration in there, cheat code. That I mean that yeah that that's baseball. That's that's JD. Like that's Mickey Mantle. Oh, you didn't even ever. You don't even have to know. You're just like oh yeah, that guy plays baseball and hey. he's probably really fucking good. Bet it's fake. It's not. His name's Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> his name is not Mickey. The I, that at, just, at peak Mickey Mouse, his name's Mickey. Come on. Mickey Mantle. <laughs> I, bet he, I bet he scrubbed all the browsers for what you're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Charles Mantle. Nicknamed the Commerce Comet. The Mick. Yeah, dude. Great name. Every grandpa loved Mickey Mantle. Mine certainly did. Named his dog after him. I just feel like if you're collecting cards and you have a Mickey Mantle card, like it's over. Like game over. Like that that trumps like a LeBron rookie. Any card. That joint right there. See it never. Yep. You're a millionaire. Mickey Mantle rookie. Like even if I if I show that to my dad, he'd be like, wait, what is that? <laughs> that doesn't care about anything. <laughs> right, it's crazy. That? Like I I see, I still can't get over. Burpy boy, whoa! I love you. That was a uh, Lenten cheese pizza, piece of cheese pizza burp right there. Already, it is Friday. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Friday pizza. If you're naming your kid, <laughs> if you're naming like when you're naming your kid something, if you name him Mickey Mantle, he's not gonna be a fucking <laughs> waiter. You know, oh like, no! You got to make sure your kid, like the stars, are aligned if you're gonna name your kid. Something and there's like nothing that. like there's nothing wrong with being a waiter. I'm just saying that like Mickey Mantle was born to hit bombs and play for the Yankees. Yeah, it's a Yankees name. Come on, he's he's born to wear those baggy baseball pants with a belt for no reason. <sighs> and the footage that makes him look like they're running way faster than they really were. <laughs> Still such a weird projector thing to me. footage. Babe Ruth looks like he's in fast forward. Babe Ruth. <laughs> well, his name that wasn't his real name. I don't remember what it was. Just every player on the Yankees. 
I think it was something like like Larry or something. We got one rule here. If your name's not good enough, we change it for you. <laughs> Probably, man. George, that's right. George Ruth? George Herman Ruth. Dude. Yogi Berra. Yeah. The guy's name was so ill, they're just like, make it a candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, yeah, my name's so tight. I just made a fucking chocolate bar after me. What's up? What'd you do today? 90, uh, 90 years from now, Ben Polizzi, Benedict, the Benedict. Oh, that sounds... Wow. That's that's nice. That's not... <laughs> Goal. Write it down. There you go. Benedict on a bar? Oh, that'd be sick. Not hey, bad. Hey. Okay, you got a chocolate bar. Or you got whatever you want, but it's called Joey. What's going down with the bar? What do you got in there? You got a little nougat? Get some peanuts. I mean, you, you, oh, that's tough, dude. Like, what hasn't already been done? I mean, it can be a little, just a little flavor, like yeah. a little mix of the flavor. Like, you can have a little inspo. Definitely want some like, like Kit Kat wafer type oh, inside. Sold. You know, big on that. I think I would want it to be a mix of. But see, I think that's what it is. I think Twix is that. Oh. Twix, like, Twix is more is like cookie a, than wafer. Twix is a mix of like, in my mind, Twix is like a mix of Kit Kat and Snickers. Because it's got like the caramel and the chocolate and the Kit Kat's got like the, the mm-hmm. wafer cookie type. It's definitely but I was going to say, that's what uh, mine would want. I, I would want to be a mixture of Snickers and Kit Kat. Oh, Probably like a second cousin of Snick, of uh, Twix. So like a, like a Kit Kat with like maybe peanuts a little bit? A little bit of caramel? Or yeah. Fuck that is, yeah. Yeah. Joey. So from the Kit Kat, you're just taking the wafer inside, the crunch. One bar, two like bars? Just one. Just one? I'm not doing the snap off or anything like that. Just I think one. the snap off is nice. Yeah. That you would be more snap off, definitely. When Twix, Twix has two in there, I'm like, oh, two? Yeah. Perfect like size, too. Not too much, not too little. Yeah. Then you add on top of it. It's good shit. Reese's Cups, that's a different that's a different ball game there too. They've yeah, dominated they really switch the different you know, you think a bar and then they're like, fuck it, we're doing a cup. Crazy. Yo, yeah, yeah you have to have a chocolate candy, it has to be a bar. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Watch this Wanna shit. bet? <laughs> yeah, you know what? We'll make a king size put four of them in there. What are you gonna do? <laughs> four. And then we'll make those four be so thick that it's like you're eating an actual sandwich. That first Reese's in the deck, though, how fast are you eating that? <laughs> uh, you might even eat the paper. <laughs> <laughs> the paper looks good. Who's not licking that? The orange wrapper? You can see it from a mile away. Like a hawk oh, when I see that Reese's. Fuck off. <laughs> Out of here, dude. Which one? What? Trees. Trees, eggs. Can't hit me with this question, man. Because you're gonna go to Needlers and buy 18 of them. I mean, this is just the only thing I think about. I'm they only to, have I'm gonna, they I, only have Christmas and Easter, right? They don't do Halloween, do they? Oh, they do Halloween. What do they do for Halloween? Pumpkin. It's not as good. It's kind of it's kind of like ah, eh, should we do a pumpkin? Might as well. We did the other holidays. That's what they were thinking. But the the OG Reese's shape is the egg. Is the egg? Oh yeah. Slapping that thing in your mouth on your tongue. The white one? Get out of here. Uh, no. Nah. No? Just give me the regular, But you've man. tried it. You've tried just, it. Just, just give me straight up. You don't got to change anything. You're OG. Already, you're already perfect. OG. You're right. It is. Damn. I'm just excited about this party, the karaoke party. Karaoke party. It would be a nice little twist. We should do our party at Tin Roof, but we should do it like a little low key. Not low key, but just like another one at wherever. Wild wow, that'd be sick, dude. Come with. What if it's a contest? Like, bring your bring your heavy hitters. Yeah. Yes. It's graded upon like best karaoke song, right? Because there's the, the difference between best song and best karaoke song, right? Then you're graded on performance. We could be the judges. How much do you get the crowd going? How much does the crowd react? Yeah. It might get real competitive in there. Yeah, depending on what they'd win. I don't know. Maybe not even. People are just for the pride of it. They're just like, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, I don't think they even need a prize. Just stupid drunk and do it. Another good place for it possibly would be the dugout. Man, I would love that. All right, folks, put it down. 
Let's try it. Karaoke, summer. karaoke party, karaoke, karaoke summer party contest. Kara- signed jersey, Saint Barnabas signed jersey, <laughs> Roncalli Rebels signed jersey. Not even one of ours, just number seventy two, <laughs> practice jersey, <laughs> ripped to shreds. Been in somebody's trunk for eight years. <laughs> Found it in the used lot at Bob Rorman Indy Honda. Yeah, it's fine. Let's just yeah, this is good. <laughs> Are we signing it or is somebody who the fuck dude, signing the fuck it? 72 was, dude. <laughs> Got track, track her down. <laughs> Pull out the old yearbooks. All right. These guys, 24. These 24? Guys, 24. Wow. All right. Yeah. Remember to subscribe on YouTube. Listen on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, of course. Our number one <laughs> platform. <laughs> <laughs> Come out to Ontario, California. Ontario Improv. Or Kansas City, or Albany, or Tampa. Yeah, it's cool, man. That's cool. Congrats. Happy Thanks, for you. Dude. It's awesome. And we'll talk to you next week. Bye bye. These guys. <laughs>